What is up, my 8Cs? Welcome to week number two of remote learning. How are you doing? Let me know what your emotional headspace is like. That sound is some people playing basketball over there. You're going to hear a rim vibrate a few times while I talk, and that's totally cool. A few quick things from this past week. Number one, I heard from your parents that the workload was maybe a little bit too heavy. No parents actually use the words too heavy, okay? But on the survey that I gave your parents, a lot of parents said you are working between three three to four hours on school stuff per day. Hopefully not just my stuff, but also French and band and PE. And as a whole, that means you're working for three to four hours, maybe a little bit heavy if I'm going to be real. So I will look at maybe tweaking that down just a little bit in the coming week and we will see how that goes. But I have heard from your parents that your headspace, emotional space is pretty good. So that's a good sign. And parents, you continue to keep me informed as we go. Number two, we encountered a few little frustrations here and there with math. And right now we are working our way through a unit on Khan Academy around area and volume. So if you do find complicated or challenging concepts and you're like, ah, I'm not quite getting it, make sure you do communicate and you all did a great job of that. Communicate that with me or with Mrs. Knapp and we will take a little more time on an app called Google Jamboard. Last week was the first time I ever used it and I really like it. So make sure you connect with us and let us know how you are doing and where you need a little more support. Number three, make sure you are taking breaks from the screen. I found last week I was in front of a laptop some days from seven to seven. That is not healthy. And I'm going to do a better job of that this week. So let's make sure we are all taking breaks. You're walking to the fridge. I'm sure you're doing that already. <laughs> you're going outside. You're walking around the block. You're getting some sunshine. Like it happens to be sunny right now. So take advantage when it is and make sure you're just clearing your head. You're getting away from screens. You're giving your eyes a bit of a break and we're, we're taking care of our emotional health. And so that's a really important piece as well. Great eights, I am so proud of you. I love you, I appreciate you. It's so good to hear and see, hear from every one of you. Some of you I didn't actually see some mornings because you kept your, your screen muted and you know what, that's okay. Because if you're still in your PJs and you've got your bed head, maybe we all don't wanna see that. I don't know, I'm just saying. I can't really relate to the bed head, but I'm keeping it real, right? Anyway, whatever uh, is in store for us, I hope you have a great week. We will hopefully get a little deeper into poetry so that you shared, hopefully you shared with me your favorite song or one of your favorite songs and you explained why those lyrics were meaningful and significant to you. And we're going to share that around the class this week and dig a little deeper into poetry. April is Poetry Month. We're also going to dig a little deeper into the Middle Ages and talk about how the Middle Ages connects with our world today. A little something called the Black Plague, the Bubonic Plague, maybe you've heard of it. That is definitely one connection that is very relevant right now. Okay, grade eights, again, have an amazing week too. Keep me posted, keep communicating any needs that you have. I'll do my best to support your learning. Take care.